All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is the full unveil of my brand new Team Associated SC5M. Now, of course, this is Team Associated's brand new two-wheel drive short course truck mid-motor. Now, this has actually been a really fun build to do, and I've got to say that Team Associated did a great job of a lot of things here, not only uh, probably one of the best manuals that I've uh, ever put a car together by, but also the parts quality, uh, the part fitment, and everything was included uh, that I needed in the kit, so it was a pretty cool deal. Um, now, as you're seeing the truck here, I have done a little switcheroo on you guys. Now, the body you see here, that is a pre-painted uh, Proline Flotec Raptor body. Now, I needed to save a little bit of time. I've had this body here at the RC Network for a little while now, so it was just so easy to drop this one on, add some stickers to it from the kit, the uh, SC5M kit, and kind of call it a day. So that's kind of what I did. I have a chance to make it to the track uh, in the next couple of days here, and I need to take it at this point. So um, so right here you're seeing the Flotec Raptor body that is the pre-painted one from Proline, which is pretty damn cool that not only do they pre-cut it, they pre-paint it, it's pretty much ready to go. You just have to drop on your four holes and then put on the number plates and you're done. So pretty cool deal. Now with that, I also did the Proline Prime tires. These are the MC compound tires for a high bite clay track. Those should do pretty good first time using any type of slick or smooth tire. And I did made it up with some F11 wheels that are uh, specifically designed for the SC5M. Now underneath here, a little bit has changed and I'm still waiting for one other part. Um, I'm waiting for some four millimeter bullets to arrive here. They should actually be here today and we're pretty much set to run this thing. So right here you're seeing uh, a pretty simple layout and I'm really impressed with how much room this thing has. When I originally built up my B5M, I had no room at all. I even had to put my um, receiver up on top, I believe, of my servo to get everything in there. So it's nice to have some room, kind of spread out things. I got everything kind of perfectly spaced here. And then, like I said, just waiting for those two uh, four millimeter bullets to go onto my Reedy battery. So those are kind of just stationed into there right for right now. Now, as far as other components that are on this thing, the 410R is just blazing right there in the center of the deck. Um, I am running a Spectrum receiver for my DX3R Pro. There's the little capacitor for the 410R. Everything made it up pretty good. So here is the 1508 servo. Um, should be a very nice servo for this truck. Uh, should be very super snappy and a little bit more torque uh, than the 1206. On down here, here is the Reedy 65C. Um, and milliamp is 5800. God, that's going to give me some serious runtime there. So uh, nice block sized pack. It's basically the same same pack as two saddle packs side by side. So very nice, nice addition. Um, as far as other things on here, everything else just really turned out great. There's a look at the prime tires. Uh, these things should have some serious traction uh, being uh, completely slick. So i uh, got to break these in just a little bit and I may have to do some traction compound. We'll have to see once we get to the track. But all in all, great turnout of these SC5M. Here's a look at the underside of the chassis here. Just so nice how everything's just so contoured. Um, kind of that hourglass shape here. Looks like a woman. Awesome. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I can't wait to run this thing. I just wanted to show you guys really quick here how this thing turned out. Um, I'm really pleased with the turnout of this thing and I can't wait to run it to see how well this SC5M runs. So, well guys, that is it for now. If you have any comments or questions about this, please feel free to post those on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over and out.